praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. God bless us. Once again, we want to thank all for joining us this evening. This is Jesus Power Tabernacle Ministries Worldwide. Today is our Open Heaven Power Night, and we want to say thank you for joining us. God bless all of us in Jesus' name. You can connect live by going to our website. Click on the yellow button, it will take you to our YouTube live channel and also to our Facebook pages. Follow us live on Twitter and also on Instagram. Um, when you do receive your notification, kindly share the videos with others so others can join tonight and be blessed by God. And if you have your testimonies, email all your testimonies to jpt.ministries at gmail.com share all your testimonies everything the Lord has done for you the more you share your testimonies the more the Lord will do great and mighty things in your lives as you do the Lord bless you in Jesus name I want us now to go before God with thanksgiving in our hearts and in our spirits let's thank God for today let's bless his holy name Let's give him praise. Let's give him glory. Let's give him honor. Let's give him adoration. Thank him for another God dream. Thank him for another open heaven. Thank him for the gift of life. Thank him for the breath of life. Thank him for our salvation. Thank him for making a way when it seems to be no way. Lord Jesus, we come before you with thanksgiving in our hearts this night, O oh God. We say thank you, Lord, for this day. This is the day that you have made that we will rejoice and be glad in it. I give you all the praise. I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor. I give you all the adoration. Be thou magnified in the mighty name of Jesus. Be thou glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the gift of life, O oh God. Thank you for the breath of life, O oh God. Thank you for making a way when it seems to be no way. Thank you, Lord, for your hand of power. Thank you for your hand of fire. Oh God, we adore you. Oh God, we bless your name. Oh God, we lift your name on high. You are a good God. You are a great God. You are a wonderful God. We adore you, Holy Spirit. We magnify your name, Holy Spirit. What the mighty God you are, the God who created the heavens and the earth. Father, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. Holy Spirit, we say thank you. Thank you for the salvation of our souls. Thank you for delivering our lives from the hand of the devil. Thank you, Lord, for, for making a way for us when it seems to be no way. You are a good God. You are a mighty God. You are an awesome God. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. Oh, Father, we say thank you. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we say thank you. The God 
God who sent on fire, we say thank you. The God that parted the Red Sea, we say thank you. Oh, mighty God, we bless you. Mighty God, we adore you. Mighty God, we glorify your name. Mighty God, we exalt your name. Mighty God, we lift your name on high. You are good. You are awesome. Oh, you are wonderful, Lord. Oh, Father, we say thank you. For it is written, oh God, that in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word is God. Lord, we call you by name. Your name is word of God. Word of God, we thank you for your word. Thank you for sending your word. Your word that heals us. Your word that delivers us from all destruction. Your word that sets us free, oh God. Thank you for your word, oh God. We magnify your name. We exalt your name. Be thou glorified. Be thou are exalted. Thank you, Lord, for what you did last week, Friday. Oh, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for what you did on Sunday. Lord, we say thank you. Thank you for what you are about to do in our lives tonight, oh God. We say thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you for all the testimonies in our lives. Thank you, God, for the breakthroughs. Thank you for the deliverances. Oh, you are so good, Jesus. Thank you for watching over us. Thank you for giving your angels charge over our lives. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We magnify your name. We glorify your name, oh God. Father, we say thank you. What a mighty God you are. We give you praise and glory. Thank you, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Beloved, I want us to invite the Holy Spirit. Let's welcome the Holy Spirit to our service tonight. Let's commit all in the hand of the Holy Spirit. Without him, we are nothing. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Come and have your way in our lives tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Spirit of God, we invite your presence. Holy Spirit, have your way in our midst tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come and take charge. Come and take charge. Come and have your way. Come and have your way. Come and glorify your name in this place tonight. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we invite you, Lord. Holy Spirit, take over. Holy Spirit, touch lives tonight. In the name of Jesus, have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way, oh Lord. Have your way tonight, oh God. Have your way in our lives. Have your way in our situation. Come and take over. Come and take charge. Come and take control. In the name of Jesus, touch our lives tonight, oh God. Touch our situation tonight, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Beloved, now I want us to, to usher in the presence of God. Let's pray for the presence of God. Let the presence of God come and overshadow our service this evening. Let the presence of God come and take charge. Let's lift up our voices and begin to usher in the presence of God. Oh, presence of God will welcome you. Presence of God, come and have your way. Lord, let your presence fill this place tonight. In the name of Jesus, Lord, it is written. In the presence is fullness of Jesus joy in the right and there are pleasures forevermore father fill us with your joy fill us with your joy tonight in the name of jesus presence of god fill us with your joy in the name of jesus let your light and come upon us let your light and come upon us for good in the name of jesus 
and release your peace upon our lives in the name of jesus release your goodness release your mercy upon us tonight oh god in the name of jesus lord manifest your power tonight manifest your fire oh god manifest your glory in this place in the name of jesus release all your eternal blessings upon us tonight release all your heavenly blessings upon us tonight in the mighty name of jesus come and take over holy spirit presence of god overshadow us in the mighty name of jesus as the dear pants for as the dear pants for streams of water oh lord so let our souls pants for you tonight let our souls pants for me for you oh lord tonight in the mighty name of jesus let our souls thirst for you tonight in the mighty name of jesus oh lord jesus remain in us tonight and remain in our lives tonight oh god in the name of jesus lord let us remain in you let us remain in you tonight in the name of jesus and you remain in us oh god and you remain in us and you have our way have your way in our lives have your way in our lives in the mighty name of jesus thank you almighty god glory be to your name honor be to your name adoration be to your name in jesus name we have prayed amen thank you my father beloved now we're going to pray and lift up the man of god before god i want us to open to our bible to luke 4 verse 18 luke 4 verse 18 Luke 4 verse 18 I read The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he had sent me to heal the broken hearted to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering the sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised Beloved, now we're going to pray. We're going to ask God, let the Spirit of God come upon the man of God and let God anoint him afresh to preach the word to us tonight. And let, the, let, the, 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 let God anoint him, anoint him with power and fire tonight lift up your voices and begin to pray for him lord jesus we lift up the man of god before you tonight oh god lord release your spirit upon him in the name of jesus and anoint him afresh to preach your word tonight in the name of jesus anoint him oh lord with your fire anoint him oh lord with your power anoint him oh lord with your strength tonight in the name of jesus lord release your unction upon him to deliver the word of god in the mighty name of jesus as your word come oh lord let every broken heart every broken heart be healed in the name of jesus let every broken heart be healed tonight in the name of jesus let deliverance take place tonight in the name of jesus and let all captive be set free in the name of jesus tonight oh lord let the blind recover their sight in the name of jesus let every scale in our eyes be removed in the name of jesus and open our eyes to see what you want us to see in the name of jesus open our eyes to see your glory oh god in the name of jesus let the blind receive their sight in the name of jesus as your word comes on lord let the deaf begin to hear again in the name of jesus let us hear from you oh lord in the name of jesus let the land begin to walk tonight in the name of jesus let all those that are bruised let them be healed in the name of jesus let healing take place oh god in the name of jesus let every stolen let every stolen visions be recovered in the name of jesus let every stolen vision be recovered in the mighty name of jesus let's let let your 
God transform us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And let your name be glorified. Let your name be magnified. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. I want us now to pray for the praise team. Let's lift them before God. Let's ask God to empower them tonight. Let's ask God to strengthen them. Let's ask God to clothe them with his power and with his fire. Lord Jesus, we lift up the praise team before you, oh God. Empower them tonight, oh God, with your strength in the name of Jesus. Empower them with your fire in the name of Jesus. Clap them with your strength in the mighty name of Jesus. Clap them with your power in the name of Jesus. Even as they sing tonight, oh God, let all the praises go up to you in the name of Jesus. Let all the worship go up to you in the name of Jesus. Let your boy, your sh shower us with your mercy in the name of Jesus. Pour down your mercy upon us in the name of Jesus. Pour down your glory upon us in the name of Jesus. Pour down your healing upon us in the name of Jesus. And let your name be adored in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I want us now to begin to plead the blood of Jesus. Let's take authority right now with the blood of Jesus. Let's take authority over this environment and the atmosphere with the blood of Jesus. Why don't we plead the blood of Jesus? We plead the blood of Jesus. Over the place, we plead the blood of Jesus. Over the environment, we plead the blood of Jesus. Over the atmosphere, we plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood. Oh, blood of Jesus, come and take over. We soak all the equipment tonight with the blood of Jesus. We soak all the equipment tonight with the blood of Jesus. We soak our body, soul, and spirit with the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. We soak the vision tonight with the blood of Jesus. We soak all the platforms tonight with the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. And we cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Any Think that it's not of God in this environment, oh blood of Jesus, so put them out, or oh, put them out, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say thank you, Jesus, for your loving kindness towards us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For your loving kindness towards us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your loving kindness towards us in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, Lord Jesus, purge my foundation and purge the foundation of this place in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, purge our foundations tonight and purge the foundation of this place in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, purge our foundation, purge the foundation of this place in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Romans 12, 1 to 2 says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. And verse 2 says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove which, which is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So we're going to pray. We're going to pray. Say, I dedicate my life to Jesus. In the name of Jesus, say, we dedicate our lives to Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we dedicate our lives to Jesus. We dedicate our lives to Jesus tonight. In the name of Jesus, we dedicate our lives, our families to Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Verse 2, it says, And be not conformed to this world, 
but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. By the renewing of your mind. Mommy talks about this when she in her message a few weeks ago. When she said that an active mind. An active mind is a renewed mind. An active mind is a transformed mind. So we're going to pray. Say, my father, renew my mind. My father, transform my mind tonight. In the name of Jesus, my father, renew our minds. Transform our minds in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, my father, my father, wake me up from every slumber. Awake me, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. My father, wake us up from every slumber. Awake us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, my father, you are the God that never slumber nor sleep. Awaken us up, O oh Lord. Awaken us up, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Wake us up, Lord, from every slumber. In the name of Jesus. Wake us up, Lord, from lukewarmness. In the name of Jesus. Wake us up, Lord, from sleeplessness. In the name of Jesus. Wake us up, Lord, from heaviness. In the name of Jesus. Wake us up, Lord, from scornfulness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Wake us up, Lord, from dullness. In the name of Jesus. Wake us up, Lord, from sluggishness. In the name of Jesus. Wake us up, Lord, from powerlessness. In the name of Jesus. Wake us up, Lord, from spiritual procrastination. In the mighty name of Jesus. Awaken us, O oh Lord. Awaken us, O oh Lord. Awaken our spirits, man. In the name of Jesus. Awaken us, Lord Jesus. Awaken us, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. From every sleep and slumber. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, my Father, clothe me with your power tonight. Clothe me with your fire in the name of Jesus. Clothe us with your strength. Clothe us with your power. Clothe us with your strength. My Father, set my life on fire for you. Set my life on fire for you. Set my life on fire for you. In the name of Jesus. My Father, set my life on fire. Set our lives on fire. Set our lives on fire. Set our lives on fire. He Baba so Baba. He can Baba. Set our lives on fire. Set our lives on fire set our lives on fire in the name of jesus let my life carry your fire let my life carry your fire let my life carry your fire in the name of jesus oh lord set my heart on fire for you for you oh lord Set my life in order for you, for you. I wanna know your heart. I wanna know. Oh, I wanna know your way. I wanna know. I wanna know, Lord. I wanna know your heart. I want to know, I want to know, I want to know your way. Oh Lord, set my heart on fire for you. Oh, for you. Oh Lord, Set my life in order for you, for you. I want to know your heart. I want to know, I want to know, I want to know your way. 
I wanna know, I wanna know, I wanna know your heart. I wanna know, I wanna know, I wanna know your way. I wanna know, I wanna know, I wanna know your heart. I wanna know, I wanna know, I wanna know your way. Yes, Father, set our life on fire. Let our life be on fire for you. Set our lives on fire. Let my life carry your fire. Let our lives 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 carry your fire. In the name of Jesus, I want to know your way. Oh, I want to know. I want to know. I wanna know your heart. I wanna know. I wanna know. I wanna know your way. Oh, Lord, set my heart on fire for you. Oh, for you. Oh Lord, set my life in order for you, for you. I want to know you, I want to know, I want to know, I want to know your way. I want to know, I want to know. I want to know your heart. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know your way. Thank you, Father. Say, let all forces of darkness that have gathered in the second heaven, that have gathered on this earth, that have gathered underneath this earth, that have gathered in the waters, let them catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. All forces of darkness that have gathered in the second heaven, that have gathered on this earth, that have gathered underneath the earth, that have gathered in the waters, that have gathered in my father's house, that have gathered in my mother's house, let them catch fire, 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 let them catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, my father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say any evil spirit that followed me to this place to hinder me, to hinder my blessings. The Lord rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus. Evil spirit that followed us to this place to hinder us. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Beloved, I want us to pray for our children. Let's lift up our children before the Lord. Say, my father, separate my children's destiny from evil friends in the mighty name of Jesus. My father, separate our children's destiny from evil friends in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, my father, separate our children's destiny from evil friends in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Say, my father, set my children's life on fire. Let my children's, children's life carry your fire. In the name of Jesus, my father, set our children's life on fire for you. Let our children's life carry your fire. Let them carry your fire in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, my father, set our children's life on fire for you. Let our children's life carry your fire. Let them carry your fire. Let them carry your fire. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Beloved, shout this last prayer. Shout this last prayer. Say, my father, my father, let my life manifest your power in the name of Jesus. Let my life manifest your power in the name of Jesus. My father, let my life manifest your power. Let our lives manifest your power. Let our lives manifest your power in the mighty name of Jesus. My father, let our lives manifest your power. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, let our lives manifest your power. Let our lives manifest your power. Let our lives manifest your power. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, let our lives manifest your power. Thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Beloved, we'll shout this again. That last prayer we shouted again. Let's ask God for our lives to manifest power. Those that are out there, they're looking at us. Because we're children of God. They're looking at our lives. Say, my father, let my life manifest your power. In the mighty name of Jesus, my father, let my life manifest your power. In the name of Jesus, let my life manifest your power, Lord. In the name of Jesus, my father, let my life manifest your power. Let our lives manifest your power. Let our lives manifest your power. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, let our lives manifest your power. Let our lives manifest your power. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes, Father, let our lives manifest your power. In the name of Jesus, let our lives manifest your power. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let our life manifest your power this morning. In the name of Jesus, oh God, our Father. We are here in your presence, so oh God, let our life manifest your power in your grace, your mercy, and your favor. Internal rock of ages, we commit our lives into your hands, oh God. Our life, let your, our life manifest your power. Let our life manifest your grace. Let our life manifest your favor. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we worship you this morning. Father, we are here this morning. We want to connect to God. Our faith of God. Our life is in your hand. Lord Jesus, this hour, oh God, we want to touch the hem of your garment. Make us whole in our spirit, soul, and body. In our mind, make us whole. Give us your grace, your power, your mercy, your God. Lord Jesus, as our Father and the Lord step into this podium, transform our life, oh God. Let us be recipients of your word. Let us be doers of your word. Let us be hearers of your word. We give you praise. We give you glory, oh God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. We give you praise. We give you glory, oh God. Thank you for what you have done and all what you will continue to do for us, oh God. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' name, we thank the Lord. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yesterday, um, when our daddy was, you know, giving us the word on Exodus 14, and this this um verse, you know, capture our mind in verse 14, Exodus 14:14. 14, 14, he said, The Lord will fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. I want us to get that in our mind today. As our Father in the Lord was ministering yesterday, these are one of the scriptures that 
he was preaching from one to the end and this scripture touched my mind that the Lord would fight for us whatever thing we are going through whatever situation that we are going through that we cannot explain that we cannot think of let us submit everything into God's hands in know our needs in know our wounds in know every situation that we are going through at this point in time I just want you to thank the Lord in your own special way in your own language just appreciate the King of Kings that you are here today it's a testimony it's a blessing it's a privilege it's an honor to see another day in the land of the living you are in the sanctuary this hour to praise his holy name worship his holy name thank the Lord for all that he has done for you from January from February March April May June July August September October and now we are in the month of November shout hallelujah worship the name of the Lord he deserves the praise he deserves the glory of God thank you Jesus I am alive today it's a testimony I am alive today it is by your grace by your mercy Amen. by your favor we are here today to say thank you Jesus thank you everlasting father in this month of unstoppable victory we will reach to our destination by your grace your mercy and your favor we thank you Lord Jesus receive our worship and praise today as a sweet smelling savour we connect our soul to you to say we connect our mind our soul everything into your hand thank you king of kings let your name be glorified let the name of the lord be exalted in jesus name we thank the lord
where I wanna be where you are. I gotta be where you are. I wanna be where you are. I gotta be where you are. I wanna be where you are. I gotta be where you are. Father, this is our declaration to you this day, O oh God. It's all for your glory this morning. We will do everything according to your will. It's all for your glory, O oh God. We just want to be where you are. We have to be where you are. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For your glory, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the praise. Thank you, Lord. We want to be where you are, Lord Jesus. Be where you are. Thank you, Lord. Channel of my spirit. Open up. I am with the Father. Open up. No boundaries, no limits. Open up. Let it call on duty.
on our social platform we bless the name of the lord for your life god bless you for joining us glory be to the name of the lord by the special grace of god today is uh, the second part of this prayer section we started it about uh, a month ago if you can remember, defeating the operational patterns of marine spirits, part two. Defeating the operational patterns of marine spirits, part two. I told you we have up to four of these parts. We started. with how marine spirit is transferred through ancestral roots and culture. If you can remember. So, this subtitle on this one, how marine spirit is transferred through parental line or individual line. Marine spirit can be transferred into somebody's blood, into somebody's body, into somebody's life spiritually through ancestral line, ancestral blood, or ancestral roots. So the roots you come from, the ancestral lineage you came from, or you come from, has the capability to transfer marine spirits into your life. And our culture, we all are from different cultural background here. Culture is the aspect of life, the way of life or aspect of life from the traditional line we come from. 
So marine spirit can be transferred through cultural lines. That's not why we are here today. Today's own is we are talking about how marine spirit can be transferred through parental line. Everyone that is born as a human being has a parent. There must be somebody who brought you to this world. A father and a mother. So if they have marine spirit in them, if they have witchcraft spirit in them, if they have occultic spirit, you can inherit this spirit from them through blood. Or if it is not from them, they are free. You as an individual, you can inherit or you can acquire marine spirit by your own self. So let's see how these operational patterns are defined. How marine spirits operate through different patterns along parental or individual line. Before that, let's open to the book of Jeremiah chapter 7. And see that this marine spirit is of a truth. They exist. So people don't believe marine spirits exist. Majorly they take their abode under the waters. They live in the waters. Spiritual waters. Even the physical water you see has spiritual content in them. So marine live in those spiritual content of those physical water. They form their kingdom under the water that you can see. But it's a spiritual kingdom under the water. If you go dive into a river, you go to the bottom, you won't see any marine upstairs or apartment. But they are there. Are we understanding that? They are the priests that are marrying people under there. There are people's spiritual children under there. Even though you dive into the bottom of the sea, you can't find them there. So, the physical content does not really explain their existence. But they are there. You can see in the past, the children of Israel had worshipped the Queen of Heaven. The Queen of Heaven is a marine principality of the air, of the heavens. It's a celestial demon. It's a firmament spirit. It's a water spirit that lives in heavenly places where we have water bodies. We have another marine spirit also in the terrestrial. They occupy the earthly waters. They occupy what? The earthly waters. She is called the queen of the coast. So what do we call the one that occupies the water body in the heavens? We call that one queen of, of heaven. The one that occupies the water body on earth is called the queen of the coast. Their secretary is Jezebel. She has many administrative blocks run or managed by her for this, for the queen of the heaven and queen of the coast. Every water body you find, whether in heaven or earth, has a king. The marine king. In the heavens, the marine king on the earth. So if there is a king and there is a queen, of course there will be children and there will be family. There are many spiritual babies to this marine queen, marine king of the heavens, marine queen, marine king 
of the earth. So if there are babies, of course, there will be brothers and sisters. There are marine brothers, marine sisters. When you see people like your brother in your dream, you think it's your brother. A Jima spirit, twin spirit, or you see your kind of person from your hometown. There are marine nieces, there are marine nephews, there are marine cousins. There are marine stepbrothers and stepsisters. These things I'm talking, you will think I'm just joking. They bear the same name you bear physically under the waters. Anybody who bears your name and goes for the interview before you, the spiritual is faster than the physical. They say, come on 17th November for an interview. Your brother that look like you under the water will enter that office and spoil the heart of the boss before you get there. You will see yourself seated in an exam in your dream. It's not you. It's somebody that sat for that exam. He will pass. They will give him the job. But you will go physically. You will fail. They will reject you. The actual transaction has taken place under the water. The one that passed and took the job took what was supposed to be given to you physically. That is how they manipulate. Some people don't understand dream inversion, inverted dreams. Marine, they do these things. See, Pastor, I saw myself, I passed that board. They gave me the certificate. Physically, they asked me, get out from here, we don't need you. See, but I dreamt it, I dreamt it. You have not killed your twin brother yet. Under that water. That is taking everything that belongs to you. Marine twin brothers. Marine twin sisters. Marine cousins. There are marine parents. Marine ancestors. See old people in your dream. They tell you we know your father. We know your mother. Come and sit with us. And they escorted you to at the bottom of the sea. They are the ancestors of your family lineage that worshipped this queen of the coast, whether on earth or in heaven. Engineer, can you check? Are you following what I'm saying? So, you are wondering why you pray, 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 pray. No testimony, Abby? Uh -huh. If you don't do some kind of things for yourself, you can't say testimony. If you don't pray some kind of prayer, the only reason why many of us prayers are not answered is because God has not accepted our character. The secret of my own personal success is because I've sacrificed my character to God. Many of us have not done it. Marine, they know you very well by your character. They don't joke with that thing. The same thing with God. You want to get anything from God, take a Christ-like character. Inside it is holiness. Inside it is the fear of God. It is stronger than any prayer. That's what defeat them most. This kind of message is very hard. We don't receive it in our spirit. That's what many churches are not doing again. That's what many servants of God do. And no more doing again. Everybody are going around the circle of mercy and grace to defeat the devil. It has an extent it will go. But what will actually open the door is holiness, is character. So if I am carrying the same character of my ancestors that died and they were caged by Marine based on their character or by their character, and they have never been delivered. Tell me how is it possible for 
need to be delivered when the character of my ancestors who once lived here on earth did not glorify God. They died in that kind of character. So any time you appear in the spirit realm is not anything that appears. What actually appears is your character. Hello, somebody. You will not agree with me. Say, devil, devil must fear me. If you try me, devil, I give you sevenfold. I will do vigil from 12 to 3. You are in trouble. After you finish your vigil, the remaining days you will be very weak. The weakness came to you as a result of your character. You defeat today. Tomorrow they defeat you. The reason why this is happening is character. The day you will sit down and say, God, take this filthy garment of character for me, you have obtained power against marine kingdom. That's a message I'm going to deliver on Sunday. It's a very powerful message. I can tell you the topic. It's already prepared, given to me by God. I'm going to expose secrets. Simple. You need to hear that message. Because it will help you a lot. You've been hearing that word, but you don't know how deep it is. If you follow this character thing I'm talking about and you hold on to that system, anything you are looking for from God, you will get it by the grace of God. It's, the topic is supplication prayer. I will show you how to commune with God through supplication. It's not noise making. Words will be coming out from your mouth. But when it's getting into the heart of God, the word enter as character. Do you know when I travel for the crusade? Apart from the people that called me, they beg Pastor don't travel. You don't know what is going on in Africa. Black back and forth. All kinds of people call me. This one gave me revelation. This one thought this. This one thought this. Many people thought I won't come back alive. I don't blame them because of what is going on over there. Some of you, you pray some kind of aggressive prayer. Now, am I right? This man should not die. You pass bring with God. Bring him back home. Some people will feel with fear. When you enter dark and it becomes light, what lightens darkness is your character. Many of us will pray, but heaven cannot see us. Heaven wants to see you, but they are seeing darkness. You are praying to God, but in the dark, why were you dark? Your character. That is what gave the queen of heaven, the queen of the ghosts, upper hand against our prayer. Bitter truth, but that's the truth. I told you how something was projected to my back. A giant lizard. <laughs> when I was ministering, I was doing like this. Everybody saw me in the crowd. I thought it's one of the, the, the banner they gave me on my neck. I said, ah, this is well pleased. When it is that moving, I held my back. I said, okay. I thought it was physical. So this is spiritual. This is what they call witches are wizard. I didn't even consider. I didn't even bother myself. I was just ministry. The Lord grabbed it there and finish it. Character! And I returned all the glory to God. There are persons who can stand there And when grace has not helped you to obtain that kind of character, 
you will die, you will slumber and what? Die. God is doing something very powerful. Somebody was so happy to, uh, yesterday. He said, Pastor, I'm so happy for this mission the church took to Africa. I want to be part of it. And the person blessed the church heavily yesterday. So, what we are trying to say is that when you find grace with God on the right path with character, He opens the door for you. The kind of favor we receive in Africa, I've never seen that kind of favor anywhere. Marine is not difficult. Poverty is not difficult to kill out of the life. Sickness is not difficult to pray out of the life. When your character makes your problem stronger than who God is in your life, you will be defeated as a Christian. We need to do something so that we will not come and pray and go back the same way. You know the kind of area of your character where you need to work on. Some people don't fear God at all. Some people are still doing some things that heaven says, don't more, don't do again. You said, Oh, I can't stop it. Some people still come to church, they still have boyfriend, they still have girlfriend. Some people are still committing fornication and they are coming for night vigil. Some people are staying to adultery. They are doing that. They are coming for night vigil. Some people are drunkards and they are using prayer to cover up. Some people are gossips, destroyer, causing discord. But they want God to bless them. They want deliverance. Some people want to see the raw power of God, but they have not finished with their own forgiveness. Some people cannot do without being envious. But they need power. Some people want to destroy all the idols of their father's house. But they are very fearful and filled with unbelief. Some look down on God. At the same time, they want lifting from God. Some are never humble. Not broken. There is a personality and entity that can see you and I more than how we can see ourselves. Because they exist in the spirit realm. You and I do not exist in the spirit realm. So the question is, what do we do about our character? That we realize the power to destroy our reign. So ancestors are faced in their characters. Marie got them, some of them, majority of them went to hell. I tell you, anyone that did not give his life to God has gone to hell. It's not always about it concerning the Bible. If we inherit those, those spiritual faultiness from them, and we don't make our character right to expel these things out through grace, God forbid, our enemy will end up there too. So, how do marine spirits go through parental line, individual line, and enter our blood? Number one, through parental womb and blood. Through parental word, womb and blood. We 
all came from the first environment called the womb. The mystery of the womb is so deep that if God opened your eyes to see what happened to you and I in the womb, you will pray a lot. All the spiritual transaction of one's life and destiny took place in the womb. We, de we were dependent on somebody to survive. So anything that person passes from the womb or from the blood into us, form you and I. If the mother, the father, were involved in witchcraft, when the day you were born, they actually gave birth to a witch or a wizard. Whether conscious or unconscious. Unless God's finger is upon that conception. Number two. We acquire or inherit this marine spirit from our parents' familiar spirits. Familiar spirit is the spirit that knows you very well. It knows you more than yourself. He lives in your blood. He has existed in the family before you were born. So he follows us through the bloodline of the ancestor to the parents to the child. It's a long time afflicting and tormenting spirit. Familiar spirit is a water spirit. As traditions or cultures deep rooted in our belief, an aspect of cultures of worship, so also by that practice, familiar spirits are transferred. Many of the worship system of families are not unto the King of Glory; they are unto Satan and demons. The singing, traditional songs that are glorifying the devil, there are familiar spirits in them. The cultural dances, there are familiar spirits in them. The beating of the drums, there are familiar spirits in them. The food that were idolized or offered as sacrifice to the gods and the goddesses of the land, familiar spirit possess them. Now, these are what our ancestors ate or practiced or did. Handed to our parents and we came from that womb. Directly or indirectly, familiar spirit or marine spirit have been transferred into your blood. So you begin to battle with a problem that you do not even know anything about. Spiritually, familiar spirits are the Clocks of destiny. Listen very well. What closes the door to testimonies are familiar spirits. Do you know that they know the key to every padlock to be opened? They have the key in their hand. Familiar spirits are actually in charge of family doors of prosperity. They are long in that family. They close the door for long. The first ancestor, the door was closed against him. The parents, the doors were closed against them. All successions of uncles and aunts, nieces and nephews, cousins, the doors were closed against them. By this spirit that knows them more than himself, he has been in the family. Worshipped by the first ancestor. Any time baptism takes place in the family, that is what they do. That's the spirit they bring up into that family. So familiar spirits has entered people through libation. Libation is a form of worship, uh, offering of worship 
to appease dead spirits, ancestral spirits. So when the prayers are offered, the prayers goes to the head of family member. Familiar spirit enters them. That's what they call the baptism of familiar spirits. Let's go to that Jeremiah chapter 7. Jeremiah chapter what? Read verse. Let's read verse 17. Do you not see what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? These people, these ancestors were supposed to be worshipping God because they were the prince of the Lord, chosen by God. But there was a shift. There was a dichotomy. There was a, a drift from the sanctuary to the sanctuary of the devil. And some of God was telling the, the, in Jeremiah, said, did you not see what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? The children gathered wood. The fathers kindled the fire. And the women need do to make cakes from the for the queen of heaven. They were making cakes, food offering, Babylonian delicacies for the marine spirits of the heavenlies to confirm that marine. If they ask you, if they Travel which doctor of the family or the native doctor valleys. You consult them for some things. Check out anything they ask you to bring. A liquid medium must be there. How many of you know what I'm talking about? After they say bring kolana, they will still ask you bring kai kai, bring ugogoro, bring shinab. That one must be there. Any celebration in the, in the, in the village, they must put that thing. That liquid medium. You see the Bible. So they are making that cake for the Queen of Heaven, and they pour out drink offering to other gods that they may provoke me to anger. There is power in this thing. What gets God to be angry? What steers the spirit of God when men? Demand self worship to themselves or they divert worship to Satan. God becomes jealous because he alone should be worshipped as God. There is a power that backs that gift. When a man will refuse to serve God and serve the devil, there is a power behind that thing. So they obtain satanic power from the offerings, drink offering they gave to the queen of heaven. In return, he baptized them with spirits. Some of them becomes advocate for Satan. Some of them becomes devotees to these spirits. Those ones who are advocates and devotees, they acquire power. They use that power to see See you and I, because we are not, we are not powerful. We, we become powerless. They actually steal the strength of our power. They steal the gift of our power. They steal our vision, revelation, and they use it. They go through the family name and take the head of everybody through the spirits. After they've offered that drink offering, that cake to the Queen of Heaven, upward power is stronger than horizontal power. Or downward power. The power in the heavens are stronger than the one in the horizontal. The reason why many people are not able to attack marine spirit and bring them to nothingness completely, part of it is the lack of knowledge in the operations of these spirits. Because why? They are hidden 
in water bodies, underneath the earth, are many kingdoms, spiritually, that are not made known to man, unless the Holy Ghost revealed them to you. The day God helped me to see some things, and God helped me to know the, the depths where they were operating, and some of their kingdoms, I took note of so many things. And when you have these secrets and knowledge from God, it will give you an edge. So, they offer drink offering to other gods that they may provoke me to anger. Do they provoke me to anger? Says the Lord. Do they not provoke themselves to the shame of their own faces? So, those who are trying to provoke God to anger, God's the provocation back on their faces. Our ancestors who worship Satan instead of God, what happened to their faces? Disgrace, shame, provocation. They suffer deceleration, lust, demotion. All the things God says here is what happened to people who are idolaters. So that is the foundation you are standing on before you became Christian. That kind of foundation, like I said, can completely be pulled down through Christ-like character. That character shines in the presence of darkness. That character makes a way where there seems to be no way. That character speaks ahead of you to demote the enemy. When the enemy enters the door of your dream to come and attack, they see that character as fire. They run out. Ask for the grace and the mercy of God to put on that garment of character. Flesh cannot do it. Every day, say, God, apply your grace in my life. To behave like Jesus. Increase your strength upon me. To be holy. Empower me, O oh Lord. To have the right spirit. Use your eyes up. And make me clean. Make my heart clean. My house clean. You can have somebody or group of person come to church and pray and their heart is bitter. Everybody is calling the prayer of the pastor. And God can see darkness moving inside the heart. At the same time, the spirit they are casting out, the ones who have light, they are casting the spirit out. Do you know those spirits are going into those dark hearts? And making those people, when dark spirits enter those with this kind of heart, what happened to their life? Add another five years to the year they are. That is how their testimony will be delayed. These spirits enter and increase the doors and lock you down. I always tell people, make your heart as pure as anything. Somebody offend you call the person. There's no time for bitterness. There's no time for darkness. I didn't like what you. And I want to say, let it go. Forgive and move forward. When you are pure in the spirit realm and you are praying, it's light that like this. That's your character. Marie cannot touch that thing. May God deliver us in the name of Jesus. So what's the third thing? Malay spirits have entered many of us through festivals that are characterized by nudity, sexual urges, drunkenness, and rivalry. So they have possessed family through drink sexual abomination. When every day marine spirit is sleeping with you, sleeping with you, sleeping with you, sleeping with you, that's what we call uh, sexual dream, sexual word abomination. 
Now, it's an abominable thing. It has become an abomination. They are just sleeping with you every day. Every day. You let people say they will come. You stay anywhere. They come. That thing is coming from your ancestral line to your parental line to your blood. What you need is pure character. Get them out. And add your prayer to it. They have entered many of us through eating and drinking in the dream. Parents who knew no God, they were eating and drinking in the dream. With that same womb or that same blood of your father, your mother, they gave birth to you. The spirit who were feeding your parents will start feeding you. No two way about it. Because you are a property to them. Your parents were property to them. They have entered many of us through demonic Caesarean operation. Parents who was operated and no much prayer, the marine spirit will enter. They will certainly enter. They find their way through every every place you ex you exercise where there is cult. Pain. You are always you having pain. Pain. Marie will enter. You have accident. And the wound did not heal on time. Marie will enter. You are always exercising confinement. You are always confining yourself. You don't want to, you don't want to relate with people. You hate socialization. Marie will go through that transfer and enter. You, you are always bitter. You are not happy seeing people. Marie will go through that bitterness and enter. I'm telling you how they go into people. So if our parents were the one doing these things, they enter their blood that way and before they give birth to us, we inherit it through blood. So Marie has got into many of us through conception and delivery. An agent of darkness is delivering your mom. An occultic doctor, a marine spirit field nurse, are the people that took charge of your operation and they brought you out in their hands. You are in the mercy of in the hands of the mercy of God. Only contact the spirits enter, unless God help that child. A child, a mother gave birth to a child. Young mother, out of fear, don't want to hold on to the child because of fear of societal confrontation and other means. She dumped the child near a dustbin. The dustbin is a site, is a place for marine spirits. Those spirits will enter those child before any human being comes there to find the child. Those children you see, they remove from pulling bag, basket, left in the spirits have already visited and entered them. Now they are taken to foster home. The government take charge, they begin to clean the child and ask for people who want to adopt. Those children need serious prayer. There is a power behind they are being dumped. Why were they not born in the hospital or to parents? They were born and the parents rejected them to the dustbin. Threw them to the dustbin. So, the mark of rejection is already on that child. That mark of rejection is the whip of the marine on that child. Spirits follow those actions. So, actions we carry out are backed by spirits that enter us. You are a that is always angry, angry, angry. You will get plenty, multiples of marine. Anger is a raw fire under the marine seabed. 
What gives marine power to attack people more is this thing we call anger and unforgiveness, resentment, bitterness. They go through that round. So all these things are still what we talk about character. Marine has entered many of us through blood transfusion. If you have ever done blood transfusion here yeah, without prayer, make sure you have prayed on the blood bank before they put it in you, or a group of persons have prayed, you are okay. But if prayer were not offered, they transfer blood into you, or they transfer they transfuse blood into your parents, and they did not know God, and from that womb you came. The blood of the person who that donates the blood has spirits. Their blood are not pure. Because most of them are not born again. Marine goes through that. Close your eyes and pray this prayer. Say, Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Deliver my blood. Deliver my blood. From Marine's spirit. Oh, spirit. Ha, you are sitting and praying. I beg you to stand up. The Lord is your strength. Oh God, arise! Deliver my blood from my Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare it. Sit down, please. Marine has entered many of us through marriage. The man you marry, the woman you marry, you don't know much about them. In fact, they don't know anything about themselves, too. So you marry a wife, you marry a husband. Physically, both of you love yourself. Spiritually, there is no love. When Christ is the centerpiece of a pure marriage, marriage rooted in Christ-like character and covered with the garment of holiness and the fear of God, and Christ is the centerpiece of that marriage, that marriage is pure in the spirit realm and has raw and pure love of God in both couples. Physically, that marriage will last. Marriage cannot enter. What we are seeing these days everywhere in most churches is patch marriage. Most of those marriages have problems spiritually. So people cohabit. People just marry and manage the spiritual problem. It's hard to see holy marriage again. Very hard. Do you agree with me? Very hard. It's telling you that Marine has taken over. In fact, if you try to do it in the church, the members will leave the church. This man, this woman, you are wasting our time. This only only thing you are talking about. I don't go marry though. So everybody marry outside God. The, the next family members are going to be water spirits. Right there on the altar of these churches, the man and the woman, you could see them. You know that these two people are not born again. Right there in the synagogue, all the marine spirit from the waters are present in that marriage. You put the ring, you take the Bible, they read the Bible with you. Immediately they finish, first week of the marriage, they will divorce. 
It's not one person you marry. Your wife came with 10,000 spirit husband. Your husband came with 10,000 spirit wife. All of both of you will fight. 10,000, 10,000, you will fight. When you slap your husband, it's not only him that is slapping you. When you slap your wife, it's not only him that is slapping you. After one week, the marriage is dissolved. The pastor calls and says, but you just got married. You cannot even say, well, no, no, no. I just want her to go. She's a liar. He's a tiger. This couple, they left the court of character at the door of the church. They enter naked. Married follow them. At the back of the heart of the pastor, he knew that is not a pure marriage. But nobody tells anybody the truth again in the church. Because the church has to be full. And the tithes and offering must come in. Steady. Keep pumping them. Let them just be there. Grace will take care of it and mercy. That's why Christians, marriages don't work again. This is what is happening. You will see people in the church who will tell you that sister, you are waiting, you will wait forever. Brother, you are waiting, you are following this pastor, you will wait forever. You will you know, you never go anybody that come. Whether you know God or not, marry. Let that two of you will give your life to God. When you give your life to God, the marriage will say, Me, I have not given my life to God. Then you can give your life to God, but I have not given my life to God. It's inside you. You repent, the marriage no. The foundation by which you brought the marine is a what? Rebellion against God. You can repent, but the marine will be there. God will let you suffer the consequences of that rebellion. The way you deceive the church to marry the man, the way you deceive the church to marry the woman, is all the boxing both of you will go through in the night. The problem is that the pastor will suffer a lot in counseling. That is the thing we suffer in this job. What does not consign us we carry on our head. That is why you see a lot of people are looking for anointed pastor, prophecy and revelation pastor, deliverance pastor. There is nothing like that. What you need is holiness, fear of God, re character of Christ. Then we'll be free from all this problem. There is nothing prayer cannot take care of. But you must have the garment of what purity on you. The Bible says the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. Remove from that sentence the righteous. The effectual, fervent prayer of let's remove righteous. Will it end with a very much? What is the emblem and garment for a very much successful deliverance? I mean, successful result is what? Righteousness. That's the character. Be fervent and effectual. But how does it end at the end of the year? You start a prayer of prosperity from January. You are waiting. Say, oh, there's no anointing in this church. Oh, yeah. The problem is you, it's not the church. What is the parameter of your own righteousness? What is your privacy with God? What is the purity value or the purity content of your of your own personality with, with your creator? Those are the factual things we should ask ourselves. You're trying to attach yourself to the anointing of the pastor to get breakthrough. You're trying to attach yourself to the church to get open doors. 
But actually what God is trying to look at is you. Who is you before him? And when that is clear, God can see light on you. You are praying, you are praying, you are praying. He comes in, he's helping you. And you don't get much. It takes for somebody who has life like you with a covenant. Power and out to your light. And you get the expansion. That is what, that's how it works in the church. The one God has called. Just like now you are treating yourself of headache with fencing, paradox, paracetamol. The headache refused to go. After three days, what do they put on the label here? After three days, the things refused to go. See your who? The doctors, the anointed pastor. You are putting your own, doing your own, putting your own little, little holiness. God, you are seeing small, small healing, small, small healing. And the healing is not getting bigger. You look for somebody who is light like you and has a covenant of calling on his head. Then you get your healing. But when you are darkened and you want to go to the person with light to get your healing, you make his work difficult. The only thing God does not answer prayer to is what unrighteousness. No matter how anointed you are as a pastor, God is helpless. Because he will not keep unrighteousness in heaven. There is no place in the scripture where God delivers answer through unrighteousness. That's why every prayer in the church starts with what? Bringing qualitative repentance before what? Before God. Moses will always stand there tomorrow or Joshua or wherever. Say what? Well, consecrate yourself before the Lord. What does that mean? Everybody acknowledge, submit yourself, make yourself clean. We want to go to God. God can see all of us better than ourselves. We drag our leg to come for night vigil. I see a lot of darkness being dragged with people coming to the church. Anyone who did not get here eleven thirty has backslided. Anyone who did not get here eleven thirty dot, you are still walking with darkness for any reason you gave yourself. Anyone you who God is not burning again in the heart is carrying some load from the kingdom of the enemy. I'm telling you a bitter truth. That load you carry will still keep you away from your testimony. When God does not come so powerfully again in your spirit, in his presence, that is how far his testimony is away from you. What caused those load on us that we say, oh, not again, another prayer of deliverance. What is happening here? Well, let me just manage to go so that this man will not think, I do not like his ministry. You are coming with the load. God knows, heaven knows. That there are things you need to work on yourself. These are the evil fire that strengthens the enemy we are attacking. Marie refused to go by this darkness inside us. They eat on the darkness. They drink on the darkness. They sleep on the bed of our darkness. They wear the garment of our darkness on themselves. When you cover yourself, they cover themselves with your darkness. They go to, you go to church, they enter with you in that darkness. You read the Bible, they read it with you. You pray, they are in the dream of their muscles shaking their head. They know that you have darkness, they are in the air. Introduce light. You are free. I'm free. Many of us don't want to walk the path of truth. We don't want to walk the path of light. These devils and demons and man are not difficult to cast out. We empower them. So how do they tell us again? Through spiritual marriage. 
from parents' spiritual spouses. They enter us through spiritual transfer. I'll mention the transfer. Evil transfer. Evil flow. Evil linkage. Evil pattern. Those are the transfer. Many all of you here are working. Do you know that they are using your money to weep you? Has there been any time you spend your money and you have extra raise up your hand? So surplus that you can buy another house, go buy another car, bless somebody powerfully. Raise up your hand now. Only one. Thank God. You are enjoying grace. Many of us are not like this. Your position in God now and your place in heaven physically is defined by your bank account as a child of God. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The world and they that were there. You establish it among the sea and found it. Now, the Bible says, the heavens, even the heavens belongs to God. The earth he has given to the children of men. Why are we not getting all these benefits and resources? God says it belongs to, this, to the children of men. We are his children. Part of this heritage of the earth is your bank account. Judge your righteousness by what you have in your account. Unless your case is like Lazarus, make sure it's not with ignorance. And make sure the Holy Spirit has told you that you are in your trial time. Then you will come out and become rich later. But if you are a child of God here, 10 years, 20 years, you cannot feed yourself. It's not God, no. it's not the devil, no. it's not this marino. No. It is your character. There is something you are doing that is encouraging this enemy to eat the money in your account. Physically. Prayer cannot take them out. Unless you change. Many Christians don't have. What to build church? Nobody will bring money. What to do crusade do? Nobody get money. Somebody you see colleagues contribute to the, the members who know how to run, they know they will run before the door is open. What to do this, what to do that though? These are people calling the God that created the heavens and the earth. They don't have. and be able to steal all that glory to make way for themselves. But we are serving God, we are not serving Him very well. So we are in between lukewarm. The enemy has taken charge of the inheritance that belongs to us. That's where all this problem is coming from. Some will not shred some character in them. by which this marriage spirit enters us is through causes and what? Evil covenants. From our parents. I'm talking about parental line or individual line. Self-inflicted causes. You cost yourself. Many years ago you stole something. They gathered all of you up. Who stole it? Who stole it? I swear to God, if I'm the one, let Moto jam me. You cost yourself from that day. Every day since you bought car, car has been jamming you. <laughs> Self inflicted what? Cause. Parents did their own. Say, so if it's, if it's, let 
let it happen. If you let it happen to my children, it caused the unborn children or children who are innocent. All these things have consequences. When the devil wants to win the parent, he looks for what will pay the parent most. And what pays the parent most is what? See the same whip on their seeds. It's painful than what happened to them. Do you agree with me? No parent can open their eyes to see their children suffer. What they, suffer. they don't want it. He said they want to die, let their children live. So the devil will flog your children, flog our children to get us bitter and angry. Too pride in the family. Most of us are too proud. Anger in the family. Anger. Anger is a raw fire. That keeps marine in many people's blood. All forgiveness spirits, whether in parent or in the individual. True family worship of nature. True incestuous practices. True strange circumcision. Marine can enter somebody through abortion. True idolatry and adoption. Through incisions and evil marks, through evil cultures, through evil names, through strange inheritance and dedication. Who were you dedicated to? You don't know. I don't know. They dedicate many people to the moon. They dedicate many people to the sun. They dedicate many people to animals. Many years before you were born to that family. That was the family dedication to these entities. You don't even have the history, not to talk of knowing. So how do you set yourself free? It's true. Prayer of inquiry, Holy Ghost revealing them to you and begin to attack them. Most of the things God shows us in our dream are the true picture of our foundation. True evil festival and rituals. Marine enters us. True prost uh, prostitution and sexual perversion. True polygamy, true covetousness, greed, divisiveness, and deceit, true hatred and murder, true worldliness, true sexual lust, pornography, homosexuality, lesbianism, reading of sexual books and occultic books, Marine will go through those things. True fornication and adultery, Marine will go through it and enter into the blood. Unless we shun these things out of our lives. The way out. Repent from your sin. And take this verse I'm about to read very seriously into your heart. Repent from your sin. And take this verse I'm about to read very seriously into your heart. Jeremiah 51.20 Jeremiah 51.20 Let's everybody open. By the power in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord will show us mercy and grace. New garment of character shall be put upon us in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we shall defeat all the darkness out of our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jeremiah 51, verse 20. It says, You are my battle axe and weapons of war. <laughs> Who is the battle axe here? Jesus. God. The Holy Ghost. It's our battle axe. Our weapon of war. That's what we use to kill man, you know. 
the God in you, the Jesus in you, the Holy Ghost in you, is your battle axe. For with you, I will break the nations in pieces. With you, I will destroy kingdoms. Whether they are in the water, in the hell, any kingdom, marine kingdom, witchcraft kingdom, or cultic kingdom, God has battle axe as weapon of war in you and all. You will be, you'll be able to destroy them. May God empower you today in the name of Jesus. Rise up on your feet now. I want you to be sincere to yourself. You know what I'm talking about. Am I saying the truth or not? Every one of us, including myself, we have our own darkness. That is what the devil is using to kill our night vision. Kill our power. Kill our fasting. Kill our prayer. By the mercy of God, it will not happen again. Rise up now. Begin to confess your sins to God. Talk to God. God is looking for real people. People who are ready to put up his character garments. Say, Lord, this message has a lot in my spirit. I'm struggling to live righteous life. I'm struggling to serve in spirit and in truth. Father, please forgive me. I've abused grace ceaselessly. I've done this that does not glorify your name. Father, have mercy upon me. I have encouraged these powers to sit against my head by my own ill characters. Father, please have mercy. I cannot by myself live righteously unless by your grace that discipline me to do that. Help me, O oh Lord, to begin to live righteous life. Give me the right spirit to shun evil, to run away from the camp of the devil. I repent from my sins. Thou son of David, have mercy upon me. Don't let me empower these powers to sit against my destiny. Every area of weaknesses in me, Father, please forgive me. Wipe it out of my life. Father, subdue my pride. Subdue my greed. Subdue my rebellion. Have mercy upon me. Don't let me be a grace abuser. Forgive me of my sins. My unbroken attitude. Of holy living. Father, please forgive me. I can see myself before your mirror that I'm not pure. Cover the darkness. Conceal the sin. Father, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Actually, there is nothing impossible for you. My ill character has made this difficult to be delivered. Have mercy, Lord. Forgive me of all my sins. Wash me with your blood. Help me to follow your life. Help me to follow your pattern of righteousness. Help me to do it rightly. Grant me a pure heart from now. A clean heart. Give me the right motive and intent. Help me to fear you. Take my name out from the book of condemnation. Write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Father, for forgiving me. Amen. Jesus name will repent. If you have just repented, very easy. When you pray now, you will see results. Amen. I'm not telling you, I'm telling you by the pattern of this word, you will see results. Are we ready now? Thank you, Father. Lay your hand on your head. Say, Mercy of God! Run from the top of my head. To the sole of my feet. And swallow me up. Grace of God. Run from the top of my head. To the sole of my feet. And swallow me up. Favor of God. Run from the top of my head. To the sole of my feet. And swallow me up. Power of God. Run from the top of my head. To the sole of my feet. I 
swallowed you up. In Jesus' name, we receive it. We are going to pray this prayer now. Say, Fire of God. God. Burn me my life. Burn me my foundation. In the name of Jesus. Fire of God. God. Burn me my life. Burn me my foundation. In the name of Jesus. Fire of God. God. Burn me my life. Burn me my foundation. In the name of Jesus. Fire of God. Burn me my life. In the name of Jesus, fire of God, burn in my life, burn in my foundation. In Jesus' name, we receive the fire. Any filthy garment of my ancestors, of my parents, of my family, upon my spirit, upon my soul, upon my body. That garment is the character I'm talking about. Are you ready now? Yes, you are going to set it on fire. Every filthy garment of my ancestor, of my parents, of my family, upon my spirit, upon my soul, upon my body, catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire! Jesus. 
Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Spirit of God is powerful here. Yes, Lord. Wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. Amen. You are going to pray like this. Say the evil fire of my ancestors. The evil fire of my ancestors. Questioning my salvation. The evil fire of my family. Questioning my salvation. What? In the name of Jesus. Aha. Aha. Pray. Pray. And the power in the name of Jesus. Quench. 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 For greater is Jesus in us than he does in the world. Quench now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. This person demonstrates this prayer very well. You need it. You need it. Say, I put upon myself the garment of God's grace. I put upon myself the garment of God's mercy. I put upon myself the garment of God's favor. I put upon myself the garment of God's power. Listen very well to what I'm about to tell you. The thing they did in your family is only this prayer that can set you free. They did so much diabolical wicked things that close all the heads and the shining in that family. Please, you need that. Are you ready now? I put upon myself the garment of God's mercy. Hey, I put upon myself the garment of God's grace. I put upon myself the garment of God's favor. I put upon myself the garment of God's power. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and put on that garment. By the power of the name of Jesus. Yes. By the power of the name of Jesus. Now receive that garment now. Receive that garment now. Receive that garment now. Receive that garment now. Receive those garment now. Receive those garment now. Receive those garment now. In the name of Jesus. Aha. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This person, this is your own problem. There's a spirit husband that does not want to let you go. Anywhere you go, this spirit husband follow you. It's attacking anything you do. I don't want to go deep. It's a revelation. I need you to pray very well. Say, you this spirit husband. The Lord is killing that man from the waters today. The Lord is killing that woman from the waters today. I watch this man how he's moving around with you. You this spirit wife. Troubling my life. Attacking my peace. I need some going out of here. So that your life can move. Can blow. Can shine. Are you ready now? Are you ready now? Uh -huh. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Please, the, the angels that are standing by your side are ready to destroy everything that is not of God inside you. Say, you this stubborn spirit husband. You this stubborn spirit wife. Troubling my life. Attacking my life. Against my peace. You are a liar.
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Aha. 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 Continue. 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 Na pia. Katila. Na pia meta. Aha. Aha. Yes. 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 Na pia se. No, no, no. Let me get it. Let me get it. Yes. Hot. 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 Na pia se. Jesus, purify my spirit, 
somebody from my ancestral marine witchcraft line. Blood of Jesus. Purify my spirit, my body. Purify my foundation from my ancestral marine witchcraft line. From parental marine witchcraft line. From family marine witchcraft line. Purify me now. 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 Blood of Jesus. Purify me now. Purify me now. Purify me now. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are purified. So I come against all curses and evil covenants issued by any family member, whether in the spirit or in the physical, against my head, against my life, against my destiny. I come against it. I come against it. I come against it. I rubbish them. I destroy them out of my life and my family. You will not manifest. You will not come to pass. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I receive the sword of fire. I receive the sword of fire. I receive the battle acts of God. I receive the weapon of war. I destroy any spiritual twin brother, spiritual twin sister, spirit babies, spirit family members. I have one behind the water. I destroy them. I destroy them. I destroy them. Out of my life. Out of my family. Out of my marriage. I destroy them. In the name of Jesus. Parents, married spirits. In your spirits in the waters. I destroy them out of my life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Married tribal spirits. Marine cultural spirits, marine worship spirits in my foundation. I set you on fire. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Go out, righteous. Go out, righteous. Release our blood. Release our blood. Release our soul. Release our spirit. Release now. Release now. Release now. Release now. Release now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I come out from under any marine witchcraft kingdom. I reject your membership. I belong to Jesus. I am married to Jesus. Say before this, I come out from under any marine kingdom. From under any marine witchcraft kingdom, I come out. My marriage come out. My destiny come out. My destiny come out. My healing come out. From marine witchcraft kingdom, I belong to Jesus. I am married to Jesus. I possess all my possession. I possess my blessings. I possess my increase. I possess my healing. I possess my power. Story by my spirit. I possess every good thing that has been taken away from me. I possess my righteousness. I possess my power. I possess my prayer life. I possess my finances. From under the waters. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I cover your possession with the blood of Jesus. I soak our deliverance and testimony to the blood of Jesus. It's permanent. In Jesus' name we recover all. Seven victory. Amen. 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 Clap for Jesus. God bless you, our blessings. It's settled. God does not waste time. He's done. You will see them no more. Amen. Bring back your offering now. Sin no more and live righteous life. It's not membership.
I want to say thank you for delivering us from ancestral bloodline of marine benediction. For delivering us from parental, personal, individual bloodline of marine dedication. We want to say thank you. With this offering to appreciate what you have done. With this tithe, with this seed, accept it, bless it, and bless us. They will never lack. Thank you for the doors you have opened. Thank you for your empowering us in your purity. Thank you for releasing your light upon us. We give you all the thanks. Accept it, Lord, and bless it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Rise up now. Family, your drink shall be very soft. Amen. What shall I repent? Such a world to have. For the effort to pay goes for me. What shall I repent? Such a world to have. For the effort to pay goes for me. Thank you so much for what you have settled. Amen. It shall be permanent upon our lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are not leaving your presence. We ask that you go with us. Amen. As we cover our spirit, our body, our driving home, everything that concerns us with the blood of Jesus. Accident, disaster, death will never be our lot in the name of Jesus. Amen. For that grant us safety home and bring us here back for the next service. The Holy Communion service and rush in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are covered. Amen. Tomorrow, I mean today, we'll be here by 2 p.m. for our Holy Communion service, rush service also. As you come, the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's share the grace in fellowship. The Amen. grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and grace of God shall fill us. All the days of our lives, and we shall be there for the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Our Thanksgiving service will be online 10 a.m. And um, hopefully, if we meet before uh, that day, if Christ starts to come, we have a gift for you a small gift in back, a bag for you for Thanksgiving. So please uh, make sure you are here in the church. Don't pick for anybody. So, as you come, the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. And um, hopefully, let's see what God will do before then. And um, um, other things may follow. Um, is there anything I'm forgetting to say? All right. Let's give God three powerful hallelujah. 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 God bless you. I'm available for counseling. Have a wonderful morning. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir.